because we're Jews, it's being done in our name, we have to stand up and yell. It's not anti-Semitism to be against Zionism. On the contrary, we are attacked. Even when I went out in New York, so, so, so they, uh, my car tires were slashed, the windows, the mirrors broken, and so forth. But we don't care. We're going out anyway. Wherever there is a large Jewish community, wherever there's a very religious Jewish community, even if it's not large, they will be in opposition to the existence of the Zionist state of Israel because it is antithetical to Judaism. Zionism is a movement that started around 150 years ago. That's just really recently, relatively recently. And it's a movement of people who were totally estranged from the Jewish religion. They were nationalists. They weren't practicing the religion as a whole. And they wanted a, just a convenient community, a land, a nation that they should feel comfortable and proud of themselves. The Jews never attempted, even though we went through hardships, the Inquisition, uh, the Crusades, and we suffered a lot, but we never attempted to re-establish re a Jewish sovereignty, a Jewish nationhood, a Jewish kingdom, because we know it's verboten, it's forbidden, it's just not acceptable according to Judaism to have our own state. Remember, the religion is 3,000 years ago. But 2,000 years ago, we were sent into exile by God. We have to be loyal citizens in every country we reside. And we're not to attempt to leave exile because it's a godly declared exile. Jews lived with a distinctly different religion than the Muslims, but it was never a problem. In fact, it's more than that. The Muslims took in the Jews by the Inquisition, where they tried to torture Jews to convert to Christianity. It was the Muslim countries that embraced the Jews and took them in, and the Jews were able to flourish. They realized in order to get a lot of massive support from the world, evangelistic Christians, Jews who don't know the Torah, don't know their laws, uh, who don't practice the laws, so they knew they'll go to Palestine and they'll be able to tell everybody, oh, this is the God-given land to the Jewish people. They automatically started breaching and transgressing the laws of the Torah, not to kill and not to steal not to oppress the people because they, they're, they're, they wanted to make their national home in a land that was inhabited by the Palestinian people. Now, right at the beginning when they said, they said, oh, it's an empty land. And if anybody stood up against them, they said, because you hate the Jews and you're an anti-Semite. They treat us like the, the, the worst terrorists in the world. When a boy or girl turns 17, they become a criminal, even if they're not demonstrating because we refuse to serve in the IDF. They yell at me as a Holocaust denier when my grandparents were killed in Auschwitz. My father escaped Hungary when the Nazis came in. My father was in Auschwitz. The, almost the entire families were wiped out. I live and breathe Holocaust. How dare they claim that we're Holocaust deniers? But that's just part of that, the, 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 the vile Zionism that they have the power of the most expensive PR and the power of APAC that influences, uh, put pressure on politicians to be silent. That is what they're afraid of. The people who stand up and tell the, reveal the truth that Judaism is a beautiful and we live together with Muslims and we are thankful to Muslims and we don't want and what's happening to the Palestinians. We cry with the Palestinian suffering. That is what they're afraid of. The world will wake up.